to the receive side of the Harry Moss PT325. First thing we're going to do, when we've got the signal generator on with a 3 microvolt signal, is receiving. Um, because the receiver is set up to a different frequency arrangement to the transmit, so we set the 10.24 with the trimmer for transmit, but for receive, we adjust this coil here, which I think is L506. To do that, we're going to have to put an, a marker oscillator on. Ideally, you'd do this on 10.695 megs using a secondary signal generator, but I have a marker oscillator here, which is 455, which is fine doing it another way. So we've got the exact frequency on the test set. We've got 455 on here, on the marker oscillator. And if I put this screw wire with a screwdriver somewhere in the vicinity of the 455 IF, I should get a beat note. It's probably called me a liar now. I think we've got one there. Yes. Can you just hear that musical note? We need to know that. That has now set that. So we'll remove the marker oscillator. So we now know the receive is on frequency. We'll now just set it up as normal. So put the tone back on the signal generator. And we'll start with the first receive coil, which is this one here. See that's made some difference. We'll back off the signal generator. Using a uh, cyanide meter and an oscilloscope here. The second one is 502 there. The next one is 503 next one is 504 and then the let's see where we are 0.3 See if we can do it again, just see if we can get a bit more out of it. They are interactive to some extent. There we go, that's 0.3 of a microvolt, 0.25, 0.2, not particularly good but exceeds the manufacturer's specification. It's about as good as a modern set. So now we'll go for the detector, which is 505. So putting the signal generator onto 100 microvolts, just turn the volume up so we've got a half decent signal on the uh, oscilloscope, and we'll just get maximum on that. Which is there. Yes, that's fine. The next thing to do is go go back to hundred microvolt signal and make sure the S meter is calibrated to S nine. It's not far out, it's just over the S9, and it's RV2, which is a signal meter. That's now S9. Now we'll just set the squelch. So, switching the signal generator off, set the squelch to threshold, 
Oh, it's a nasty hissy uh, background noise there. Switch the generator back on. Comes in at one microvolt, that's fine. Now we'll sit, set the squelch to full. Let's see when it comes in. Comes in as 100 microvolts. That's ideal. But if it wasn't, the preset is just... I've got other engineers coming in here and they're making quite a noise. Um, if it wasn't so, then there's a preset just under the wiring harness and I can't quite see what RV number it is but rest assured just under the wiring harness there is the preset for the squelch and that concludes the Harry Moss 325 on receive